Welcome to Still Moment Studio. Today I'm going to be demoing my second oval wash cat's tongue brush. In part one of this series I demoed this brush right here. It's an oval wash half inch aqua elite made by Princeton. This is a synthetic sable. So in the video today I'm going to be demoing this one. This is synthetic squirrel. Again it's a cat's tongue brush. They call it an oval wash which is the most common form of a cat's tongue brush made by Princeton and is their Neptune line. So straight away you can see that there is quite a significant difference in the thickness of the bristles and also the length of them as well. And they act very, very differently. A synthetic sable brush will snap back into a point a lot faster. With the squirrel brush it felt very much like a wash. So if that's what you're looking for, it holds a lot of water. It can also take off quite a lot of pigment if you're trying to create wet on wet. This is a great brush for that. Or if you're trying to do a lot of area. But when you're trying to go up and do the detail, you'll notice that it does not get back into a point very fast. And when you wipe it on a towel, you can see that it has very little snap back into its original shape. It just kind of mops over to one side. So you can see that. So as you're working with it, there is really no shape to it. It is very moppy. So I've gone ahead and just left this painting very impressionistic. I haven't tried to create any specific lines or goals. And it, another thing with this brush, it's better to use it, um, put a lot of paint on, and then pull it off because this is a very thirsty brush. So then it, it creates white sections very easily, but it's hard to layer with it because it's very limited in how you can do that if that's your standard way of painting. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the time lapse and so you can see how that went. I found with this brush you really need to build up a lot of paint on the sides so that you're just ready to go because it does hold so much water. If you've only prepped a small amount of color, it will suck it dry and you, you need to kind of keep refreshing that. So it's better to go ahead and just pour a lot of water onto your palette, build up the color, build up a pretty significant puddle of the colors that you're going to be wanting so that you can work on this really fluidly and quickly. And then I can go ahead and use the brush to lift off as well. So that does mean that I need a paper towel off to the side so that the brush is as dry as possible and can lift off quickly. And once that's done, I can just go ahead and finish up the boards again. We're just leaving this very loose and free-flowing. This is not a high detail type of brush. This is more in the mop category of brushes. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. If you're looking for just a standard cat's tongue brush, I would highly recommend the Princeton Aqua Elite, this one right here, um, the synthetic sable as opposed to the synthetic squirrel. If you're not used to this brush, it might not be what you're looking for if you're trying to just do standard watercolor. The synthetic squirrel is a very specific brush in terms of covering large areas, maybe creating clouds, creating the effect where if you paint and then lift off it leaves a puddle of water. If you're painting large areas, this is a very mop-like brush. So it has great use. You can get into large areas and mop it in. But in terms of detail, 
and other things that you might want to quickly touch into your painting. It's a little bit more difficult to do because this brush does distort quite a bit as you're working with it and it doesn't snap back into the shape that you might want in the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and kind of learning about what the difference is between a synthetic squirrel cat's tongue and a synthetic sable. My preference would probably be for the synthetic sable, that's just what I'm used to. It's very quick, it's a beautiful brush, and it's highly accessible. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.